Good morning. I hope all of y'all out there find some awesome treasure and staying warm. Oh my God. It has been freezing lately. Teen, I know it's teens at times, but I tell you what, I was going to go to the beach this morning and I looked at the weather and it's going to be 24 degrees and the gig mass is backed out. I don't back out a lot. Normally, I, even cold rain, I'll get down, especially rain that bothers me, but the cold, oh my God, 24 degrees, that's it. I'm out. Oh man, I hate to do it too, because right now the beach is doing some pretty good production. Um, Y'all saw, I found that one gold ring uh, last week, and Buddy went not long after that for a couple of hours on his own, found two gold rings. I've put a picture of them up there. And uh, then me and Buddy went the next day, and we found some coins, but it had totally dropped off from what it was the next day. The beach can change from one day to the next. But, y'all saw uh, me talking a few months ago, I was, every time I went there was nothing. I couldn't find any good spots. But right now, you can find some good spots at the beach. It is still producing. Um, I've been back a few times, and uh, found one silver ring, a lot of coins and stuff. Uh, in fact, Talking about finding coins, I'll put a picture up there. John Boy went, uh, I think it was two days ago, in the cold. Whew. But anyway, he got down there and got, uh, I think it was 53 quarters. 53 quarters. I don't know if I found that many one time before. But a ton of other change. I don't know how much it ended up being, but it was a lot. Probably was one of the most uh, clad days I've seen. But he didn't get a gold ring. He did get a junker ring and some other jewelry. But when you start digging that many targets, man, your 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 odds go way up, way up that you're gonna find something good. He he just knew it too, and uh, he went back at the next day. I think it was in the cold, in the twenties or thirties, and no uh, no jewelry and nothing, no gold anyway. But he's giving it a tough go. He's got right many rings this year so far, so he's doing really good. doing better than I am. Uh, speaking of finding rings, and one of my subscribers sent me this picture here. Uh, a old swimming hole. That is a key. And y'all see me hit some old swimming holes and kill it with gold rings. This this person actually found uh, is an old lake that had dried up, dried down where people used to swim in and found all those gold rings. I tell you, you really need to do some research. If, wherever you're at in the area, lakes, beaches, old ones where there used to be an old swimming hole somewhere, you ought to really try to research that and find those. I uh, found one the last couple of years, but I've not found one in recently, but that is where you're going to find the most gold. And coins, silver coins, and all kinds of stuff. If you find something somebody hadn't hit, it's an old swimming hole. Definitely got that down there. Um, I actually uh, took some of my gold from last year to the smelter to have it melted down. And uh, I, I had two rings that was a little questionable. Mark 14 carat. Looked good. But... You know, after you've seen so much gold, you get to learn the color, the texture. You know, when you look at a gold under the microscope, you see how it flows or it doesn't flow. Brass is a little more, ch I'm going to call it choppy, but it's not flowing like gold does most of the time. And uh, I looked at it and I said, this doesn't look right. Don't, even though it's marked 14K, it does not look right. The other one, it wasn't marked, but it still looked about the same as that one. I said, don't put these in my melt. I said, check these first. And sure enough, uh, they have a spectrum analyzer. I don't know how many twenty thousand dollar machine. It actually can go in there and analyze any element that's in that metal. And he did it, and sure enough, it was not gold. Uh, so you got to really be careful. Uh, everything that glitters is not gold, and that's a fact. I have found multiple fake rings. Sometimes you can pick them up. Look at it's marked fourteen K. No, it's not real. I, I sometimes you just look at it. Oh, chains especially a lot of a lot of fake chains out there um you just got to keep an eye on that so just let you know everything that glitters is not gold um we have been hitting uh the 1600a property and b i'll show you a uh i did find a 1600 buckle on the a property with beautiful buckle Somehow when I got home, I lost it. I'm not sure. It might be in my truck somewhere. But anyway, I put a picture. I, I did take a picture of the post, so I do have that. But uh, that probably still has a lot of potential. Uh, we just got to get in another field over there and try to hit it up hard. Uh, 
B. I went there a couple days ago and uh, found, I, I'm not sure it's really a pit. I think what's happening is 1600 feet property. It was multiple buildings on this property. 1600, mid 1600s, late 1600s. <clears throat> and I'm on the back side of a hill. And I, I started probing around, started getting a lot of tar, you know, you can hear a lot of targets in there. Started digging oyster shells everywhere, but I dug down about that far and I hit, you know, like an orange clay. So I know, you know, those pits you see this dig down six feet before you hit that, because they, they had actually dug it out like a bowl, threw their trash in, came up, and then when you get to the edge, you can tell that orange clay layer comes up higher. This one was kind of starting off there, but probing around, and I, but I did find a lot of stuff. I'll show you a picture of that up there on the screen. Um, pottery, a few uh, pig bones, but not a lot, lot, not like the other pits you've seen us digging that everywhere, burn up and everything where they're cooking them. But uh, pottery, a few pig bones, um, some glass, no big giant pieces of glass like we found in the other pits, but I may be on the outside edge of a pit. I took the probe and on, on going one direction, you can hit, you hit it back, and it just clears up, clears up. The other way, you can kind of hear it going deeper down into the ground. So, actually heading out there tomorrow with Buddy and Joe, and we're going to try to uh, move where I start. I got a hole open right now, but we're going to try to move over where I'm getting those better target numbers with the, with the probe in there and try to dig that out. And I think I found like eight pipe stems and all. So, I mean, it is... That area's going to have some stuff in it. There's no question. So we're going to head there tomorrow and uh, check that out right there. So we got a lot going on this week. We've been busy. We'll have a lot. It's supposed to warm up this week. We might be getting some rain, but it's going to warm up. The gig master got mine to rain. Just give me the heat. So anyway, we're going to check that out. Uh, I, I just want to start thank you for those of you. I've mentioned a few... Um, a few videos ago about using my Amazon links in my video description before you go to Amazon. It helps me out. So I really appreciate those that have started doing that for me. And it helps me give me some credit with Amazon. So I appreciate that. Like I said, all I got to do is go ahead and hit the link. Go out and buy what you got. I do have some links to some other stuff that I, I use down in my video description. Uh, a lot of different things that I use. My tumbling and metal detect and everything. So you can look at that too. But if you don't, just click that and go take care of whatever you want to buy. So I appreciate that. I right, appreciate everybody coming along. Uh, we'll be definitely have some good adventures. I feel it coming on 600 to be another good pit. It's coming. I right, appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment, below, share. Subscribe to the Gig Master. We'll see you tomorrow on another adventure. Stay tuned.